Here with Defenders point guard Josh Majette, who uh, spent the past couple months with the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, Josh, you're one of the last people on the training camp roster before they hit the regular season. What did you learn from your experience there with the Hawks? Um, I would say just um, the professionalism and, you know, they go to work every day and, you know, some of the terminology that they used. Uh, it was a great experience to be around their guys and to play against them every day in practice was really good and I think it's only going to help me going forward. If you, I, I know it's hard to single out, you know, when you have an NBA team, everybody's talented, but if you had to pick one guy who kind of tested you the most with the Hawks, who would that be? Uh, their starting point guard, Dennis Schroeder, was great to go against every day in practice. You know, he's just really long, athletic. I'd actually played against him a couple years ago in the D-League, uh, so that was pretty cool to kind of reunite with him and then get to go out of him again. It was pretty, uh, pretty nice. Yeah, I think he was a Bakersfield guy, right? Yeah, so a little, right. little Southern California rivalry, yeah. bleeding over to Atlanta. Yeah. Um, so, so with the Hawks, though, that's, that's got to be a good feeling to, to be on an NBA team, to, you know, to see kind of the, the greener pasture, right? Yeah, it, it's kind of uh, addicting, you know, you don't, you don't want to go away from it. You know, it was, it was great to be around them and, you know, get the NBA treatment for a little while. But, you know, it's just kind of motivation going forward, you know, kind of want to get back there as soon as possible. Whether it's Coach Budenholz or, or someone else in the organization, did they give you any advice when uh, you parted ways? Uh, just to keep doing what I've been doing, you know, they said they'd be watching and just to, um, you know, do what's gotten me here and, you know, not to change and just be me. So you were a key uh, member for the Defenders last year, led the league in assists, led the league in steals. What made you want to come back for this season? Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying, you know, like everybody here, to make it to the NBA. You know, I feel like my NBA stock has never been higher and it's never is going to be as high as it is right now. And so I'm just trying to capitalize on what I've, uh, the momentum we've built the past couple uh, years, I guess, and uh, just trying to go all in one more year and see what happens. This team, they came just so close to, to the title last year. One game, uh, new coach, Kobe Carl. What do you make of him and, and the way he can, maybe can carry the momentum? Uh, he's been great so far. He's had a great energy and, you know, he, he gets where we're coming from as players. You know, I think this is only his second year out of, out of playing, so he knows where we're coming from. And uh, he's been great. Uh, we've been really trying to emphasize pushing the pace, and uh, I'm excited to get about playing Friday night. Yeah, Kobe was a D-League uh, player for a while. Did you guys ever match up at all? We did not. I guess when he was in the league, I was overseas. When I was in the league, he was overseas. So just kind of never never matched up with each other. You know, earlier today we saw Luke Walton uh, in the post against Julius Randle and a couple other guys. Does Kobe, you know, get mixed in there? He has. He, he's played with us a few times. He, he can still shoot it, I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah. He's shooting probably 80% in our practices so far <laughs> this year. I, I know that. And he's pretty good. Do you think that you could outshoot him, or I, I would take him down if if, that, if it comes to that. But uh, you know, he he's he's played well when he's had to step in there with us. All right, Josh. Appreciate your time, man. Appreciate it. Josh.